Howdy, girls. Come on. Only three of you so far. Where's everyone else? Come on! Woo! Come on, girls! Come on! Come on! Girls! Come on! Lip and hack. Lost sheep. Those three are going to be gluttons and they're going to eat way too much. sheltering you know the rain's coming come on <laughs> come on girls the others are gonna be eating all the food there's gonna be nothing left for the rest of you come on You couldn't hear me being in the shed. Come on, girls. Can you move out of the way? Suddenly they remember. Go on. Well, that's what happens when you don't listen for me. The early birds get the worm, as it were. Nope, those are empty. Look around. It's on the ground. Some people were asking about our box garden. It's got patterns. I restored it. It was all overgrown. There's tea roses growing through it. So it's a long, hard slog, but at the moment it's just being kept weeded because it's full of bindweed and ground elder. So I don't really plant plants in it. So it's mostly just box with a few old fashioned roses. And you can see there's loads of vetch and scutch grass. And right there you can see the bindweed. So that's bindweed, the vetch, the scutch. So it's a constant battle at the moment. So I basically fill it up with wood chip and um, allow the roses to be there, but I'm constantly trying to weed out the scutch, the bindweed, the vetch and the ground elder. So it's a constant battle. Anyway, this is just outside the garden on the south facing wall. And I've been minding the box for years. So hopefully won't get any box blight or none yet as it were. But I generally don't have the public come in here because that's how you transport box blight is other people from other gardens bringing it in. So it's generally uh, 
just for the family. And it is, as children, we called this the box garden. We call, it was, it's known as the pleasure ground, but we call it the torture ground because it was always so hard to um, weed and mind and plant and all those other kinds of things. Isn't that right? How's Kitty? Yeah. Anyway, that is the box garden. So you can kind of see there's a bit of a pattern that I rescued. Not much of one, but a very basic pattern. And it had, when I came and was rescuing it, it had around 25 years of neglect and overgrown. So it was double the size it was, very overgrown, so you couldn't even see the pattern. So there we go. Look at all that vetch. And a lot of the time what I do with the vetch is I just pull it up like this. So I'm weeding the vetch out. And you go like that. And a sheep will hopefully eat it. Go yum, 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 yum. <laughs> vetch is full of all kinds of vitamins and minerals. So sometimes the sheep don't need it, so they don't eat it. But uh, yeah, there's loads of the vetch in here. So you pick it out. Make sure you don't pick out the ones that are the roses because those are full of prickles. So you can see they can sometimes get confused. And then here's some of the cooch grass or scotch grass or whatever you want to call it. This stuff is so, such a pain. So let's see. If anybody will eat this. No, they're too busy eating the last of the nuts I gave them. Not interested. Or going into the woods to find some shelter before the storm hits us today. <laughs> Look at you. Okay, now. That's that part done. Now, how do we get the rest of it open? Hmm? I know. I know. You want it off. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, I know. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yes. Okay, that's one. Where's the other one? Oh, look. There. <laughs> oh, puppers. We're getting there. Yes. Okay, I can see where I can chop this there. Uh, this is very frustrating for me too, pup. Oh, guess what? Uh, there we go. Oh, oh, yes. A lot of massage needed for a puppy. Oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Shall I let you down now? Oh. There. Is that feel good? Does that feel good? You're released. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Everybody wants to get in on the game. Does that feel better? Does that feel better?
Oh, does that feel better? Oh, does that feel better? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Does that feel good? Oh, does that feel good? Oh, yes. It, the collar's gone. Yeah. Oh, the collar is gone for small puppies. Yes. Yes. You a happy pup. You're such a happy pup. I mean, you're jealous, and you're jealous. Everybody's jealous. Yeah. Should we go out the door? So you can run around without your collar on. Come on, let's go out the door. Come on, pups. Come on. Come on. Are you going to come out? Come on. Come on. Are you coming? Not much rain at the moment. There you go. He's so clever. Happy puppy. They've over all overshot. <laughs> A few of them are coming up to the first one. <laughs> it's always so funny. Anyway, no flooding here yet, though Cork and Kerry seem to have had a lot of rain. So what I'm sliding in muckiness though. So they all seem well. Everybody's accounted for. Are you nervous of me in my raincoat and headgear? They're not used to seeing me in my billowy raincoat. See, I look scary in my raincoat. So they're not used to seeing me in this. It's a new raincoat too. So one has to get these things. My old raincoat was shredded and the zip didn't work anymore. Mind you, I don't have the zip up at the moment, but you never know, later in the year I will, in the winter, I'll probably want the zip to work. Okay, come on, Storm Beatrice. We're fine down here. No flooding yet, yet, yet. <laughs> Everybody else in here has had their meal. Isn't that right? You had your meal. Yeah, and the good girl feathers, and the horses as well. I'm going to go back inside. So I was just checking on everybody before it got dark. It's very mucky underfoot. Mucky, mucky, mucky. Isn't that right? Miserable dog. You're the only one who came out, you good girl. You're so loyal. Well, mind you, Incas, there is, these two are in here. Oh, he 
did come out. Java came out. I told a lie. He doesn't have his collar anymore. He's so happy. He's such a jolly little pup. Oh, and there's Bear. But I'm still waiting for Maya. Maya, come on! Pup. I'm gonna lock the gate! Oh, oh, there's somebody here. Whoops. 